What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing an intercooler install on Martin's 2016 Hyundai Veloster Turbo. No, Talk a little about this thing. What is it? It's an 845 Motorsports upgraded core intercooler kit. Upgraded core. So I paid extra for that shit. They say it gets about 22 wheel horsepower in conjunction of a fucking intake. So in reality, I'm only gonna get 10 horses or so. 10 to 12-ish. Yeah. And what's that? HKF blow off valve. HKS blow off. So should we do a little before and after sound test? Oh, we should. And then we'll tell you what you need to install this. Shit. Let's get started. Oh, yeah. Now we're just gonna be doing a little sound test of how it sounded with just an intake on and then we're gonna do a before and after with the intercooler and blow-off valve. And this is the stock blow-off valve and you, this is the stock intercooler. Yes, stock blow-off valve, stock intercooler. No more stock. So what do we have to do now? I guess we'll check up the car, and, uh, put it on jack stands, and uh, get started. Make sure it's tight. Go. Oh. Bolts right there, and bolts on the other side, and it should be pretty simple after that. So as you can tell, I'm removing some bolts. For the crash bar, or crash bar. Maybe that one too. Well, yeah, that one. One. A little disclaimer. We do not know how to install an intercooler. We've never done it before. This is probably the biggest thing we've ever done to a car, besides coilovers, which aren't even that bad. So yeah, just letting you guys know that. We don't know how to fucking do this, but we're still attempting to try it and show you guys our steps. So right now he's taking off the hoses leading to the blow-off valve and try to do this without cutting yourself. Oh that's gonna be placed, so I'll just take this one. It's gonna be placed. So you're gonna have to remove this. This tubing going to the intercooler and the bottom tubing that should be, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a bottom tubing on the intercooler that you're gonna have to remove too. Crow, you know crow, dude? So this is the stock bypass valve. Yes. It's it's considered a bypass valve, but it's also kind of like a blow-off. Is it a blow-off valve? In a way, but it's just a bypass valve. Yeah, so that's a I don't know how it works, but it's not really a blow-off valve. Let me get the ratchet. Huh? Let me get the ratchet. There's stuff connected there. Okay. Oh, never mind. Actually, yeah, I do need it. Oh, it should be the one that's on there. This is what we do when we're building shit. We're eating. 
apples, chips, on top of a fucking trash can. So we got everything apart. I'm tired. We're not even done yet. So, all I have to do pretty much is go like this. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, this part. And the intercooler is off. Uh, it's pretty thick. Well, compared to the new one in a little bit. We're supposed to cut, I believe, the right side. No. Well, facing. Facing the car. The right side of the fender well. Why? So the hot pipe could go through and fit. Because it's a big hot pipe. Well, he said. So, yeah, we're supposed to be doing that. And I mean, it was pretty simple to come off, right? What? The intercooler? Kind of. A couple little things here and there, but. Simple to install. All he had to do was obviously remove bolts. A couple bolts, uh, hoses. One went to the blow off valve, and another one was like to the intercooler, I guess. And there was one hose on top of the cold pipe that goes to the throttle body. Then a hot pipe hose that goes to the turbo. But uh, now we have to just remove these plastic things. Garbage. I don't know if it'll fit with the intercooler here. Because the intercooler is kind of fucking big. It's kind of long. Should, we show, should we show them already again? We'll wait till everything's apart. Now we just gotta take off the hot pipe. Here we go. Wait. Yes. Hot pipe. Thing is fucking tiny. Now I guess it's time to compare it. This is the stock hot pipe, and this is the aftermarket hot pipe. Big difference in size. Now compare cold pipe, the stock cold pipe to the aftermarket cold pipe, which is also a big difference. This is the cold pipe, technically. This to this. Now the intercooler. What we've all been waiting for. All oh, your hose clamps. You gotta make sure you have the right amount. <laughs> Compared to the stock one. Which is actually pretty much double the size. Yep, pretty much double the size. Thickness of the box. Same. Now we get to install this. Take off this tape. You excited? Not to do it, but to drive it. Well, aren't you gonna show them the stock? Blow off valve or the bypass valve compared to the blow off valve? Could. We should. Alright, let's see where do you put it at? Oh, alright. So this is the stock bypass valve and we're gonna be replacing it with HKS. Blow off valve. So hopefully this thing makes even more crazier noises. I hope so. Whew. Big ass fucking heavy cooler. Heavy in the cooler. Heavy inner cooler heavy. Super heavy. How heavy? There is wind. Sorry, we didn't want to park this car in the parking lot because it's uphill. And we didn't want to park in lot driveway. Because <clears throat> it's uphill, we didn't want it to fall. Since it's gonna be on here on stands for a while, so sorry if there's some wind. And we will be posting a link on how to get the instructions. The actual instructions. We're just doing it to show you guys because I have never seen. I try to look for it, how to install a video on this on YouTube. I can't find one. So this is kind of to help you guys out. Yeah, I mean we didn't show you the exact steps step by step, but we just we're just gonna show you the gist of it just because we don't really know how to do it completely yet, and we're still learning. So <clears throat> we're gonna show you the link so you guys can see, and then we're just gonna pretty much show you guys how it sounds right after we install it. 
the next step is to put this back on. You've before the yes. inner cooler? Because this goes on the bottom. Oh, okay. Then Line them up right here. Fuck. Yeah. That, that looks so fucking meaty, bro. Here, I'll put it back. You better leave it off without a bumper. Oh my god. Dude. I'm gonna tie it too tight because I'm still gonna do a bunch of Oh shit, bro. I'm a little jealous of you now. This is how it looks right now. He's tightening all the bolts on, on it. I'm making this up because I'm So, what we forgot to do is take off the, I guess, like a sensor type of thing. I'm not sure what it does exactly, but. Here, take that off. Put it on the cold pipe. So where would he go? Hold on. Because you don't want to spring any codes on there. That's something you should not want to do. Yeah. Don't do that. Oh. There was something that came. Check this out. Come here, zoom in. That's what they're talking about. So there's this weird ass shitty instruction type of thing, but whatever. Some of the map sensors, that's what it is, bung holes, lar are, have a larger inside bolt than the factory. So in reality, we have to change this O-ring, because like, it's kind of loose. You don't want it to be loose. Change that O-ring to this O-ring. And we don't want that to cause a boost leak, which it can if you don't change out to a better thicker O-ring. Okay, you can cut it. Two hours since we've been recording and what we had to do since he has a throttle body on his a throttle body spacer on his car is we had to custom cut the cold pipe to fit and it wasn't fitting even with it cut like a lot so that's what we had to do. It's finally on right now. We had to take off the wheel well, and then we're putting on the hot pipe. Yep. Turn the muffler. Things all done. Just tightening up these last two down, last two bolts. Oh, one bolt right here, one bolt right here that holds the actual intercooler. This for the turbo. For the turbo. I mean the valve. No, uh, it's been a long day. I got the hoses for the valve valve to uh, some shit up here. I don't know. But we'll see how that works. It's gonna be on a separate video. <laughs> 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 Catch us next time, Matt. <laughs> and right now we're trying to cap this thing off because this used to go to the bypass valve. It goes to the original blast valve, which is yes, the bypass valve. So yeah, we need to cap this thing off, and then we're gonna turn it on and see how it sounds and if everything's going all right. Look who decided to show up, bitch ass Tony. Bitch ass Tony, the famous. We're gonna make stickers about you. Do it. The chest tony. You're gonna have to rock that on your car. Alright, slowly at the same time, because this shit will go flip. It's happy before. That is so fucking nice. Let it idle first.
hear that shit? <laughs> That's when you know it's warmed up. Damn. Do it again. I have to cut the left wheel well. This side, I don't know where, but there's one end where you have to cut a circle for that to go through. But I, I'm already over it. We had to cut the cold pipe because of the throttle body spacer is about three quarter inch or so. So I had to cut that much off on the top and the bottom of the cold pipe. So it's fucking a hassle, but we got it. Okay, so we just did a little drive, and are you happy with what it came out to? Yeah, but we'll see how it does on the freeway, but we'll do a review on the actual car, then while we're doing the review, we'll do a review on how it currently pulls. So until then, maybe a couple more days, we'll see, a week, I don't know. I just need time to figure this car to see how it does under higher loads of boost, boost or whatever you right, want right to call it. Right here. Okay, so pretty much the only problem that we're having right now is the idling issue. It kind of idles heavy. We don't know if that's because of the intercooler. Idling you, low. Idling low and heavy. Like it shakes, so... We obviously don't know because this is our first intercooler install and we don't even know if we did it right. So we're just, we already checked for any leaks. There's, I don't think there is any, but. Unless that's just how it is. Yeah, it might just be like that. So just let us know. I hope you enjoyed this video. We've been waiting on this install for a while. Over a month. Yeah. I ordered it. How much did it cost? A little over 800 with the shipping. But I got the, of course, upgraded core. So we'll see. Yeah. Take a couple days with it, see how it does, and then we'll get back to you on the... Yeah, we'll do like a little like update, but other than that, we're in that, I mean, the install video wasn't that good just because we had to both help each other out and I couldn't be holding the camera. There isn't any people that, that came yeah, until after. Trouble. Yeah, we had to cut a lot of shit. It was just complicated, so that's why. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to have more installs coming. So like, subscribe, and share and see you guys on the next video.